Now, pressure flaking can get pretty persnickety, and uh, there are different opinions on how to do the pressure flaking. The way I do it, like I said earlier, I start with a lot of inward pressure here, and then it's like half and half inward and downward in the middle section, and then mostly downward until you reach the very tip, and that's when I push downward almost exclusively, there is still a slight inward pressure. Now some people might disagree with that, especially if you have a nice, clean, smooth, well-prepared surface, that the inward and downward pressure remains the same all the way down the edge, and what varies is the amount of force. But for me, I can't do it that way because as I get toward the tip, for some reason, it stops working and I get step fractures or blow off the tip or there's some weird things that goes on like an overshot, unexpected flaking if I put too much inward force at the tip. So I have, in my technique, I have to vary the angle of the force. Here it's mostly inward. In the middle it's half and half inward and downward and at the tip, especially at the very tip, it's almost all downward pressure. That's me, okay? That's, and I had to be very persnickety about it because I also try to thin areas. Like, this has got a, an obstacle there. So, that rule doesn't always apply, but you got to know exactly when to not apply it. I, I'm going to misapply the force that I usually use to try to run a flake. Okay, I usually use like half and half inward and downward at this area. But in this case, I'm going to use like 90% inward to see if I can remove that obstacle. That's what I call it. That's why I said I'm going to misuse the force, the applied force, to get rid of an obstacle. So that, that, that force is completely different than the force I'm going to use on this next flake, and the direction is totally different as well. So that, that just adds a layer of complication when you do random flaking on a, on a random surface. Now you can develop nice, neat parallel flakes, but it's very difficult with a random surface. To do a non-random flake pattern on a random surface is very difficult, and it will require lots of practice because there's a lot of variables involved.